right, Kimberly Guilfoyle joins me now. Kim, good to see you. A lot to talk about, uh, obviously. I want to start with uh, the Tucker Carlson ongoing saga. A friend of his alleging he's threatening to unveil some dirty secrets about Fox if they can't agree to let him out of his contract. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, I think it's very unfortunate. And to me, the fact of the matter is, how can a big corporate media and like Fox News be so out of touch with the American people? Uh, Tucker really resonated, whether you were a liberal, Democrat, independent, conservative, because he was a truth seeker and he was somebody that went out there every single night. Um, he talked about the stories that other people were afraid to report on. And now you've seen just a, you know, abysmal drop in ratings um, across the board, not just in that hour. And there really has been a gigantic ripple effect for what has transpired. I worked with Tucker personally. I found him uh, very professional, fun, smart. I've known him for you know over a decade. And it was uh, just a big loss, I think, for Fox News. And I don't think the American people like what's happening to him. And they can say that they have nothing to do with it, but there's people inside there that are clearly going out of their way to hurt and ruin Tucker Carlson's reputation. Yeah, they, they, they certainly have the motive to do it. They're, they're trying to distract from that. Uh, I, I want to talk about this, uh, this new poll uh, that came out, ABC News, Washington Post, now showing former President Trump in the lead in a re-election uh, rematch with with uh, President Biden, uh, just astonishing numbers. It's just days after the DNC, the party, the Democrat Party, announced that Biden was going to be the only option that they would entertain. And you wonder, are they regretting that decision? Wow. Yeah, they're, they're living uh, on Regret Island. That's what's happening there. But, you know, his whole overall job approval rating is, uh, you know, abysmal. His approval rating is abysmal. I mean, this is the candidate that can't get it done. So I don't know what they're going to do. I guess they'll finally go ahead and put all the evidence forward on Hunter uh, to try to take Joe Biden out from within his own party. And maybe yeah. he'll still be president and doing well enough to pardon his son. The whole thing is a disaster. Kamala is a total disaster. She's not popular at all. Doesn't have any clue what she's doing. She was the czar of the border. Fail. Now she's going to be the czar of artificial intelligence. Hopefully the robots will be smart enough to get rid of her. I mean, the whole thing is like a disaster for that party. A Trump is crushing it, okay? He's making everyone else look like a crash test dummy. So, you know, fasten your seatbelt because when you go against Trump, it's not pretty. Look at the numbers against Ron DeSantis as well. It's well, not just, going well, folks, I was but just very show, well for Trump. Yeah, Trump outperforming DeSantis versus Biden in this same poll, this ABC News Washington Post poll. And it, it kind of ties in, we were just talking about Fox, the Murdochs and Fox, chose Ron DeSantis uh, maybe more than a year ago now. They've ignored Trump for months uh, in, in many ways. I mean, I, I guess Tucker did have an interview with him not too long ago. Now Tucker's gone. Um, Rupert Murdoch said that he wanted to make Trump a non-person, that he wanted to pivot away from the former president. And talking about regret, I have to think that Fox also has a lot of regret now. I mean, if you look at these numbers, it could be a very right. long six years for them if, if this is true. Yeah. You know. No, it's very bad. Um, you know, but you've had a lot of big talent like yourself, like myself. O'Reilly's gone from there. Megyn Kelly. Um, you know, a lot of people. Eric Bowling um, has left. Greg Kelly has left. You know, and people are watching Newsmax. Let's be honest. We're both on here. So I think you have to pay attention. You know, you have a responsibility to the viewers, to the people, to provide a good service, to be honest and ethical in the way that you handle, you know, and treat, you know, talent. Um, it's unfortunate what has happened. But let me tell you something. Just like President Trump, Tucker Carlson is a, a tough guy. He's smart. Um, he knows what he's doing. He's fearless. He's not afraid, you know, to punch back. He's not going to sit there and let people sucker punch him. Um, it's not the right thing to do what happened and transpired here. But I'll tell you something. Put your money on him because he's going to have the last laugh and he will persevere. And I really hope that he has the place because his voice is unique and interesting and compelling for American political history to get out there and be present and talk to the American people for this 2024 election. Kim Guilfoyle, good to see you again. Thank you so much. You as well. Thanks, my friend.